Hey, I'm Todd and this is Noel from Johnson Auto Body and today we're going to talk about the science of color matching. When the color don't match on the car itself, sometimes we'll look it up and it gives you some variances of colors and we'll check them out and we'll do spray outs, but sometimes they don't even come close. So that's why now the technology with the camera, now we could just go up to the car, take a picture of it, put it on the computer and we could check. We put the code of the, of the car that it is. Once we take uh, the picture of the car, the picture will come up and then it, you put the code in and it'll give you like about maybe 10 different beverages of colors on the side. Then you can just look it up and it gives you a 3D effect. Like if you're outside, inside, and then uh, you can flip it any, any way you can to get the right color of it. You just go down the line and see if you can get the right one. Once you get the right one, we'll do the formula, we'll mix it, and we'll do a spray out and then we'll come and check it and make sure it's the right one. Most of the time, they come out real, real good. And then we can go with it and, and spray it and get it going. So the beginning, we get a paint coat off the car, right? Mm -hmm. That's the normal thing. And then we've got like our chips, because there's usually alternates anyways, Sometimes right? Sometimes we have alternates or chips. So we can, so that's like a last resort, right? Or are we using this every resort. day though, right? This is, this, Most of the time. It's working out pretty it's good. It's working out real good. So we go with the chip and then we go with spray out. So we got our own color library that we keep stuff and that way we've got all the hard to match colors down and we've got a that's, record of them. Those but, are the ones, because sometimes yeah. we have cars that come back and yeah. we have we go through the same problem, but we already have them already sprayed out. So it makes it easier for us, just go to the library, come and check out yeah. the, the car itself and boom. We don't have to so go through like, all the headache trying to take a picture again to, to do it again. To tint a color back in the day would take hours. I know back when I was painting, Things were a lot harder even than I mean, it's been a while. Oh yeah. But so like I'd spend a whole day sometimes tinting colors, doing spray outs, things like that to match one. And that's free free work, it sucks. Like nobody oh, yeah. pays a lot for that. But this has helped speed us up, right? So this gets us 100%. in the ballpark like that yeah. and we can get something that's gonna be a blendable match really easy yeah. usually. Get it nice and close and we can blend it so out it, and, and then yeah, go. so so we just blend the adjacent panels around everything yeah. so that it makes it so you can't see even if it is slightly different, because yeah. we're never going to get it perfect, right? No, you so can't the sun... get it on the money, but it's real close as you blend it out, and you can't tell. Soft colors, yeah, you can get it ballpoint. We ain't got no problem, but most of the time we blend just to make sure that the car gets done and out of here. You give him a closer. Why Come do on, I gotta give him a closer? You give him a closer. <laughs> you're the box. Come on, man. Come on. Look, I'm already sweating. <laughs>